Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, in the sales department at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2022 Honda Passport Trail Sport. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle to show you guys all the cool standard features and functions to save you guys time so when you arrive at your local Honda dealership, you know exactly what this vehicle has before you take it out for a test drive. If you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to assist you guys from that point. Then also for those in the market here around me, Here's my number. Give me a call. I'll show you guys how easy it is to join the crazy Honda Chris family at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Now let's go get you guys all the information you need to make that well-formed decision today and now. Let's get going. All right, guys. So here we are right outside the 2022 Honda Passport Trail Sport. We're going to walk up here to the Moni sticker as usual. You guys are welcome to pause the video right about there if you want to explore your own. Okay. Sorry for the glare if you guys can see it. Up on the top right hand corner talks about your fuel economy. So you're going to have 19 for the city, 24 for the highway with a combined of 21. Down on the right hand corner is going to talk about your safety ratings. Take a look at that. And then right over here, vehicles made in Lincoln, Alabama. It is a US made product, as you guys can see. The price point and then the list of standard features, which we're going to try to cover today for you folks. All right, this particular code is called Platinum White Pro. I will also post some additional color options right over here on the left-hand corner, but also there's a surplus charge for that particular color from American Honda, okay? Now, it comes in with two key fobs, all right? With the remote start, to use remote start, all you have to do is hit lock, hold this button down here for a few seconds. You'll see these lights are gonna flash here in the moment as it did right down below. It's gonna start right up, it's gonna heat and cool the vehicle, runs in 10 minute volts, and the doors will remain locked for you, okay? So what I mean by that, let's say, I don't know, eight minutes have passed, repeat the process, click and hold this bad boy, you see the lights flash again. Now it's gonna run for a grand total of 18 minutes, okay? Third time, it will now work for the third time, all right? You have to get in there, turn on the vehicle, then you can use it from that point. Now, simply turn that off, just click and hold this button down. If you guys pick it up any wind noise, I do apologize. It's really windy and cold outside today. Now, you have all of your Honda sensing features standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, your forward collision, and road departure. All standard right there for you folks. Now, you got LED lights all the way around. I'm talking about your fog lights, daytime running lights, tail lights, and headlights. All standard right here, okay? You have a 3.5 V6 right up there. I'm going to throw horsepower and torque so you guys will be in the know so you know what we're playing around with. We're going to get a little closer here towards the grill action. So you guys can see you got a little bit of badge of honor going on. Trail Sport right up there. You got a nice little kind of aggressive tr front going on. You got a black front trim piece going there. No chrome action going on with this particular one. We're going to have parking sensors right up front. Body code right here. Then we'll step right over here to these nice 18 inch alloy rims. Check those out, looking pretty nice. Now we're gonna step here towards the back a little more so you get a little more side profile of the vehicle for you folks. As you see, that front end comes down is like a nice straight squared off, a little more rugged kind of outdoor adventurous type of vehicle. I'm gonna throw some exterior measurements up there so you guys be in the know. All right, how does it compare to you guys as a current vehicle? Is it gonna fit in the garage, etc. from that point, all right? Now we're gonna have a nice black finish, uh, power folding mirror right over here. We also got body colored handles around the windows. It's all going to be blacked out. We're also going to have rear tinted windows. Then we're going to have a nice black finished roof rails up top. All right. We're going to have turning indicators right here in the side mirror. We're going to have smart entry with the vehicle. So let's say it's all locked up. You got the key five in your purse, your jacket, your pocket, put your hand in the handle. Guess what? It's going to automatically, since the key fob goes by, it allows you to get in and out. And you also can enable the walkway auto lock feature. So when you walk away, get 10 feet away, boom, all doors automatically lock. So that's going to be great. Now let's say for any particular reason, you have that disenabled. You can also lock the doors by hitting this button right here, walk away. Now all the doors are locked too as well. Okay. You cannot accidentally go, whoops, left your jacket in there, your purse with the key fob, hit the lock button, shut the door. It senses that you accidentally lock a key in the car, so it automatically unlocks for you. The only way you can purposely lock your key in the car, if I take the second key fob with me, right? I have it, my wife left her purse in there because she doesn't want to take it in or whatever the case can be. I hit lock on my key fob, then it's registering that I'm purposely locking that key fob in that car. That's the only way you guys can do it, okay? Now you're gonna have your gas release right here. Click and hold that for a moment. Here it is, no longer a $2 cap to argue or debate with. It's a simple slide and go, living the dream, nice and easy. Don't worry about replacing that $2 cap. 
We'll step right over here towards the back. All right, got a nice little black finish trim going on right here in the middle. Handles right down below for your power lift gate. We're also gonna have body color parking sensors down here, as you guys can see. We're gonna have chrome tipped exhaust, multi-angle rear camera, the passport, it's all a nice black finish. We also have the all-wheel drive, all blacked and finished too as well. Trail sport, and the LED tail lights. All right, now let's get the key fob here quick. We're gonna open it right up. I do apologize for the wind again, guys. I do apologize, I just can't hide from it today. I just have a limited amount of time to show this car to you guys. So let's bear with me. As you get right in here, you got plenty of space. As life happens, challenge accepted. I'm gonna throw some measurements up there so you guys be in the know on how much cargo space you're gonna have. Got a nice little pocket right over here. You got some courtesy tie downs, boom, boom. One way over there, one way over here. A nice deeper pocket, you got a 12 volt plug in. Got nice little hooks going on right here, just in case you got any garbage bags, stuff like that. So you're gonna be set. Now if you need more space, hey, challenge accepted, just smack this button right here. Then look at that, the seats will fold down nice and flat. If I didn't have the seatbelt buckles right in. It's gonna be a 60-40 as you guys can see. Living the dream, you need more storage space? That's not a problem. Honda Passport has you. Just flip this right open, you got some space there. And then, right there, it's your spare tire. Tools you may need. And all of this comes right out. So if you get it dirty, not a problem, take it out and let's clean it. All right, let's take a moment, let's bring these seats right back up, starting now. There we go. So now we're also gonna have your power lift gate button right here, if you guys wanna use that. You're gonna have one right here to kinda open it up simply, and you're gonna have this little button right here off to the side. So with that button, what that little button's going to do, when you shut this, you have the key fob with you and you want to lock all the doors because you're done, just tap that button, it's going to lock all the doors for you guys so you don't have to hit the lock button or do anything crazy. All right, now let's kind of open up here at the back. Oh, I just hit that button, so I locked myself out, as you guys can see. There we go. Now before we dive right in here, I'm going to throw some interior measurements so you guys be in the know to make sure we have enough room for your pets, friends, passengers, whoever's gonna be brave enough to tag along with you guys, okay? Hopefully a family will be involved. Now, we also gonna have leather armrests. You can see it's some orange stitching going on. That's gonna continue throughout the car, okay? Cup holders, some additional cubby space down below. Then we also get these nice little blinds that come right up, pretty easy to hook up and, and all that, all right? Pretty nice and easy. Now, leather interior. Once again, you get this nice orange stitching. You see that kind of continue out. Armrests, cup holders. You have a nice little courtesy pocket on the back of the passenger uh, seat, front passenger seat, driver's seat too as well. All season mats come standard, all right? Come standard, not a problem. Now these seats do slide forward and back. You got a little squeeze bar right here, squeeze that, and then slide forward and back. Right up here you got your adjustable vents, a couple USBs, then also a standard plug-in. You guys need a three seat belt? Here it is, right up there. Done. Now if you guys wanna fold these seats down flat too as well, simply is right there, so it's pretty nice and easy. Now let's show you guys up front. All right, so as we open this up right away from the get-go guys, let's kinda of check out the door once again. You can have a nice leather armrest. You got that orange stitching kinda of going on again. You guys know about power windows, pretty nice and easy, power locks. Window lock button, just in case any of those young whippersnappers misbehave, you can lock them out of the windows. You got a little bit of tray action going on right here. That's a little deep area. Then we're also going to have your gas tank release, then your power tailgate. Now right down here, you got some additional cubby space. You're going to have two seat memory, okay? So on the back of each key, you have a key one, key two. So you can save the position on that. You walk right in, adjusts your stuff from that point. So that's gonna be pretty nice and easy. Now also, just to kind of share with you guys, I'll give you a quick little visual on the inside too. Every time you put this vehicle to reverse and then you have your mirrors between left and right, right? Like I have the left one selected, it's gonna tilt down a little more. It catch a little more of your back end down there towards the ground and how close you're getting to something. If you don't like that for any particular reason, 
Just put it back in the center, okay? So pretty nice. Right here, we have your blind spot information system. So let's say you're driving down the road, there's a car in your blind spot right over here up to the side, it's gonna light right up, and every time you have your turning indicator on while someone's in your blind spot, it's gonna beep at you. You can customize all your Honda sensing features, including your blind spot. Uh, do you want the beeps, do you not? Stuff like that, okay? So let's kind of uh, talk about, about the driver's seat now. It's going to be a power seating. You got your forward, you got your back, you got your up, your down, and then, you know, a little bit of tilting action going on. Recline, then your lumbar support. You got your pedals right over there. You got your perk and brake right here, your hood release. Let's pull that and let's kind of give you a little courtesy what's underneath the hood now. Here we are, right underneath the hood for you guys. Let's point out some common courtesy stuff from this point. If you guys have any further questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'm sure the community would be glad to assist you guys, or just contact your local Honda dealership for more detailed information. Now, just for the common courtesy, you got your brake fluid right here. Your battery connection is going to be down underneath here. We already know we got 3.5 V6 right in there. You got your washer fluid, dipsticks, and nice bright orange are right there for you folks, okay? You got your oil cap right down in here. Just give you guys another quick little visual. What's going on? Show you how much room. Just in case for those that want to do any kind of customization, work on their own vehicles, now you guys are in the know, okay? All right, let's jump to the next stop from this point. All right, guys, so before we dive right in again here up front in the driver's seat, I just want to share with you guys, you're gonna have four manufacturer packages options available to you guys if you want to take advantage of those at all or not. So I'm going to kind of throw these right up here so you guys can be in the know, a little bit of description of what they kind of cover from this point. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to check out Honda's website for a little more detailed information from there or drop any questions down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you guys, okay? So take a moment, take a look at those for you guys. All right, you know what? Let's get back right into the Honda Passport right now. All right, so we're going to jump right in here quick, guys. Just so make sure you have the key fob with you, okay? Stay in your purse, your jacket, your pocket, wherever the case is, just in the car with you, okay? Put your foot down on the brake. I'm going to hit the start button. I'm going to watch everything light up with the push button start. Now, right over here, once again, on the left-hand side, we got some additional buttons going on, okay? So let's explain some of this. You're going to have your power folding mirrors as you select that. Fold right in and out, so pretty nice and easy. You get your mirror selector between left and right. The D-pad to adjust accordingly. You can have an econ button. As you smack the econ button, you can see a nice little green leaf right down here on the bottom left-hand corner to let you know it's on. So if I select it again, it's gone. It's not on. Econ's going to make you more fuel efficient for your highway driving, where it's most effective. It's going to change how you're going to drive a little bit. So I'm talking about acceleration, your electrical power, and your AC power is going to be nerfed down to give you better fuel economy. You may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending on how aggressive you guys are driving, okay? So you just also have to choose on those really hot summer days do you want to be fuel efficient or do you want to be comfortable? Right over here, you got your parking sensors. They're off. Now they're on. You can tell by the green light, they're off. You have your heating element for your wiper zones right there. Your road departure, your forward collision, and vehicle stability assist right here. Now also to kind of share a nice little tip here with you guys on your side mirrors. Right now I have it in the center. But if I put it on the left-hand side over here and I put the vehicle into reverse, right? Check that out. It angles right kind of down a little more, depending on how I have that set up. Then if I put the vehicle back into park, it has a reverse tilt right there. So let's say if I put it in the center, put it in reverse again, it does not change that, okay? Now it's going to be doing the same, but I put it on the right one. It's now it kind of angles down, and then there we go. Now your steering wheel adjustments going to be right over here off to the side. Pull that out. It's going to be a telescope, so it goes in and out, up and down. So you guys can adjust as you see fit from there. Leather wrap steering wheel with a nice little orange stitching. Once again, you have all of your Honda Sensing features over here on the right-hand side. You can see when they're available by the green writing up there. If you don't see that, just hit this main button. The green writing I'm referring to is the ACCs, your adaptive cruise control, then your lane keep assist system from right here. So it's available. Now it's not. Now it is. Just simply hit the main button. You can have your cruise control set, adjust the speed for your cruise control. Then you have your adaptive cruise right here. So as you're selecting that, we're selecting the distance between of you and the car in front of you. So let's say, for example, I don't know, you're going 53 miles an hour. The car in front of you is going uh, 49. 
All right, so it finds the car in the distance, it beeps at you. Once it finds it, you turn that on or off, then it slows you down to maintain that distance too. Now when they get out of the way, whoop, they're off to the side, you resume back to wherever your cruise control speed was set at. Now for any particular reason you don't like that, you can simply turn that off by clicking and holding this button down. Now it's standard cruise control without the adaptive part, okay? So there we go. Just once again, click and hold this button down for one, two seconds, and then boom, done. This is going to be for your lane keep assist for your highway driving. So as you select this button right now, you see we have hollowed out dotted lines right now because we're not going the proper speed between 45 and 90 miles an hour, and we're not finding lines on the road. Now, if we were, meet those two criteria, it'd be filled in white dotted lines as a visual confirmation. Now, when it's active, when you go out of your lane a little bit, like, whoop, we're off to the side a little, right? It's going to beep at you. You turn that beep on or off, then it brings you back, re-centers you. You may customize the sensitivity on that, or if it even brings you back, re-centers you too as well. All right? So now that's everything right there for all of your Honda sensing features. We're going to have your shifter pedals right over here. All of your media controls are going to be right over here on the left-hand side. You got your hands free for your phone. You can pick up. Hang up, voice command, hey, call Crazy Honda Chris, a mobile phone, answer you guys' questions, volume control, stuff like that. Then you got a little bit of a menu action going on here to navigate through that. Then also between uh, switching between different modes, stations, stuff like that, okay? Now, let's just take a moment here. We're going to quietly kind of thumb through some of this for you guys to be in the know. If you have any questions, drop them down below. All right, then you got your wipers right over here. Adjustable end men, you got your rear wipers too as well. Fog lights on or off, auto headlights, boop, boop, got them on. We're gonna talk a little bit about the driver's interface here, kind of give you guys a little bit of the layout. You got your gas tank right over here. It's nice and full, mileage, five miles on this particular vehicle right now. Speeder meter right here, take on them or up top. You get a little bit of your driver's interface action going right here, kind of shows you depending on what you have selected. There we go. And then you're gonna have your park. Outside temperature is 41 degrees, as you guys can see from right over there. And then you got your temperature gauge right here. You're also gonna have your fuel efficiency backlight right up there, the white bar. So let's say you're being fuel efficient, it goes from white to green. And when you're not, it goes green to white. It's just a visual coach if you wanna level up your fuel efficiency game, okay? Now you're also gonna have these little buttons right here off to the sides to adjust the brightness of your driver's interface. There we go. All right, now from over here, we're gonna talk a little bit about the touch screen at the moment. We're at their home screen, as you guys can clearly see. We're gonna have navigation. It's a Garmin navigation right there. So pretty nice and easy to use. We're gonna have Phone, you can put multiple phones to the vehicle if you like to. Settings, you can customize all your vehicle settings right underneath here. Display stuff, all that good jazz. Take a moment, take a look at that when you guys have time. And then you got your Precious. radio options. Dude, if you went there though with me, it would be hilarious because you'd be like the old guy, you know. <laughs> Here's all of your options here. You got an FM, Bluetooth, Sirius XM is a paid subscription. You get three months of that for free for the brand new car. After that, you have to contact them and work out the terms from that point. Then you also have your aux plug-in, USB, AM radio. You got your Honda Music, social playlist, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. All right there. Pretty nice and easy to use. Just kind of click, nice responsive. Uh, from here, you got your volume control. Let's say if you want to find a radio station, just hit tune and just see, you know, type one whatever, comes right up, all right? We'll give you guys a moment, kind of a little bit more insight. Okay, text messages, a little more quick, you know, response here. Time's right up there. Back to there. If this screen bugs you between your day or nighttime driving, not a problem. You got a little star and moon right here. Let's go ahead and select that a couple times so you can adjust the brightness as you guys can see. Maybe I want it completely off. There we go. Then I can simply turn it back on from there. We'll go back out here quick, take a look at the dashboard layout a little bit. You got adjustable vent here, here, and there. And then we got one right over here for the driver. I got to turn off the heated seats. Cooking, thank you. 
So there we are. You got your hazard lights from here, just in case you need those. And then we got your climate controls and everything right here. So we're going to have a tri-climate. I got my RR settings. I can mess around with the pass, you know, the back seat, their fan speed. I can mess with their temperature, stuff like that. Select that again so you can see they're set at 78. I can sync everything if I wanted to as well. So that's going to be nice to hit sync. So now everyone's at 67. Mess with the climate a little bit. You get your different modes. Fan speed, AC, air circulation. You got on and off, auto. I can shop that climate back there. So pretty nice from here. And you got your front defroster, rear defroster with heated side mirrors too as well. Or right down here as we're talking about heated, as we just talked about a moment ago, you get heated seats. Three tier as medium, low, and high. Just a nice little tray area right there. We'll come right down here. Looks like we have a wireless phone charger right there. Set it on there. Let it charge right up. You have a 12 volt plug in. Then we're also going to have your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto plug from here. So with Apple phones, it's a plug and play. And then Boom, right up here, it's like that. It'll allow you to use your Apple Maps, Google Maps, whatever the case is, and other compatible apps while charging your guys' device. Android Auto is the same thing. Just allow all the permissions first. Then it's a plug and play, and from right up there. Everything will play through the speakers for you guys, all right? Now we have a couple cup holders right in here. You gotta have the uh, push buttons right here for your shifters. So let's say we're driving down the road, you can't just like, oops, you know, smacking buttons. You have to apply onto the brakes as you will see from right there. So put your foot down on the brake and then just hit the reverse button. As you see, it goes from red to green. Your multi-angle camera automatically displays from this point here. These little buttons down here are gonna show you how the camera's gonna act. So a nice 180 view, catch a little more of your blind spot here off to the side. Then you're gonna have a uh, straight behind you view straight down shot from your rear bumper so as you're backing up into the garage parallel parking stuff like that you can see how close you're getting to your bumper uh, from there this is going to be on and off for your cross traffic monitoring system so let's say we're driving and then i'm uh, sorry we got the car in reverse and a car is coming from the side it's going to point out what direction it's coming from then also is going to beep at you too as well this button's faded out right now because we don't have our legendary parking sensors on they're on now so let's just hit that so let's say, you know, we have our parking sensors on. We want to see the graph on how close it's going off. We'll have a little graph, different colors on how close we're kind of getting to hit an object too as well, if you want to see that. All right. So you got your neutral, you got your drive, then you have a sport drive to tell the difference between those two. There it is. So S for sport, D for drive uh, from here, okay? Now, just kind of want to share with you guys too, we're going to skip this button, come right back. You got idle stop. So let's say the car meets its requirement, like the air cabins, uh, the cabins up to temp, the engines to temp, other stuff plays involved. You get to a stop. It's going to partially shut off the engine, right? For your idle stop. Whole point of that is trying to be a little more emission awareness here in the US. And we're trying to make the cars a little more fuel efficient for your city driving, okay? Um, for any particular reason you don't like that, hey, you got this little button right here. Select that. You get a nice little a with the circle is saying hey you know idle stops been deactivated but unfortunately though you have to deactivate that every single time you get into the car or what i have noticed too as well like with my wife's crv as you can see with this here in a second if i turn that right back on i switch it to uh, sport there it is idle stop has been disabled right there so when you're in sport mode idle stop is not a thing in sport mode okay We'll put that back in the park. You have your intelligent traction management right here. So as we're selecting that up on the driver's interface, you'll see a couple options, some words right up there, right? You got normal, snow, mud, and sand. The vehicle is going to change how it's going to perform to optimize your handling in those environments. Like right now in sand mode, it shot the vehicle stability assist. So it's going to do everything in its power to keep that sand from falling back onto your tire, stuff like that. So you can stay above it and get it out of the sand. So that's pretty cool. Now, we're going to turn this right back to normal for the next people to test drive. Now, if you have it in snow mode, it's going to change it for the snow environment. So you won't be spinning out in snow. So that's going to be pretty cool. Now, we're going to open this bad boy right up, right down here. You got a nice little courtesy tray. I'm going to hide my quarters right here so my kids can't get into those. Then we have a 12-volt plug-in. You can have a USB plug-in right down here too as well with an aux, as you guys can see. armrests i got mine they got theirs right here so we got those glove box deep enough challenge accepted fill up whatever you want in it you're gonna forget about it i do it all the time it is also lockable all right 
So just kind of checking out the all season mats. Once again, it comes with a vehicle, it has a nice little trail sport on the side and orange from there. You got a nice orange stitching going on on the leather seats up front. Checking out the headrests for the front seats. They're gonna see trail sport right on them. And we're also going to have an auto dimming rear view mirror, so it's going to reduce that brightness coming up from up there. So that's going to be great. Now, right below this, you're going to have your home link right here for your garage door opener units, all right? We have a one-touch power bin roof. It's going to open, close, tilt, everything like a power roof should be doing. So you can get out there and wave at people if you need to, unless some nice fresh air in. Then this is going to be simply for your dome lights right there. So if I have it in the center now, when I open up a door, whoop, all the lights come right up. Or I can simply just have them on or turn them completely off from there. But when they're completely off, I still can mess with my map lights. All right. Place for the sunglasses. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. I appreciate you guys' endless support out there, just kind of getting all the information I'm trying to share with you guys. You can make that well-formed decision. For any particular reason, if I miss one thing, you guys have that lingering question, feel free to drop it down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you guys from that point, okay? Don't forget to continue to show your support by hitting the like, subscribe button. I'll keep up the good work to help you guys be in the know, okay? See you at the next video. Appreciate you guys again.